there's a reason the support role is called support and not healer hello everyone and welcome to the channel my name is warstorm and today we're going to go over the basics of what it means to play support in overwatch when you play support you are not just a healer i repeat you are not just a healer what you really are is the glue that holds the team together allow me to explain a lot of newer or you know noob support players may see themselves at the bottom tier of the totem pole but that's far from the truth just because your plays aren't as flashy or you don't rack up a ton of kills doesn't make your support bottom tier in fact it makes you the key component of your team's victory now the main purpose of support role is very simple actually it's to stay alive be selfish and make sure you are your number one priority because if you die your whole team will soon follow always utilize the space taken by your tanks to keep your team in the fight as long as possible the longer your team stays up the better chances you have of winning the fights in a long going battle as long as you survive you can continue to have the upper hand during these team fights now another thing newer or inexperienced support players may ask is who do I heal or who do I prioritize? Now, your first priority as support is healing your tanks because tanks always are on the front line, taking the bulk of damage. So the longer you keep them in the fight, the better you can help them create space. The next priority that you would need to heal is another support because the only thing that's better than one support staying alive is both of the supports staying alive finally i would prioritize keeping your dps alive as some have good mobility and can utilize health packs around them but if they're in your line of sights and they need healing you know make sure to heal them up keep them in the fight as well now a quick reminder to please hit that like button if you're enjoying this guide so far as it helps get this video out to more people and helps my channel tremendously now moving on to the next overlooked mistake of being a support is being afraid to be aggressive just because your main job is healing doesn't mean you can't contribute to dealing damage and getting picked. Just make sure to not get tunnel vision and forget you have teammates to um, heal because in that case, you're kind of hurting the team at that point. Next tip I have for you guys is to read your team's composition to determine which supports might provide the most value. If you have a lot of self-sustaining heroes like Hog or Soldier that can heal themselves, plus you already have a support that can dish out a good amount of heals like Ana or Mercy, Maybe you can go with a more off support like Zenyatta. Now, a very big key to staying alive is positioning. Always make sure you're in a position where you are relatively safe and have an escape if you get pressured. Each support is different when it comes to positioning, so keep that in mind when setting up for a team fight. So a quick example of a situation of positioning is Anna, Baptiste, and Zenyatta usually position in the further back end of the team, dealing more focused damage and healing from a distance while heroes like Lucio, Mercy, Brig, and Moira can be a little bit more up close behind the team and utilize AOE abilities and short range healing. Now, one last key component to making a support role so important to winning team fights is the ability to negate the opposing team's ults and combos. A lot of support abilities have an insane amount of potential to shut down the enemy ult. Here's a great example. Imagine we have two teams, Team 1 uses Grav and pulls the entire Team 2 into it. Then right behind that, Team 1 also uses a Hanzo's Dragon Strike. Those two ults when combined usually result in a team wipe, but Team 2's Zenyatta uses Transcendence, making his team basically immune to the Dragon Strike damage. So Team 1 ended up wasting two ultimates and got no value, while Team 2, because of their Zenyatta, only had to use one support ultimate to save the entire team. But let's take this one step further and say Team 1's Ana uses her anti-nade to cancel out the Zenyatta's healing. In one simple ability, that's not even an ultimate, just a regular cooldown ability, the Ana saved Team 1 from wasting their two ultimates and turning the fight into their favor. So either way, each scenario the support ults can either shut down or re-engage the value of whichever ultimate's being used. Now, I'm not one for holding abilities too long, but sometimes with support, it pays off to keep track of your ults and cooldowns in case the perfect time comes for you to use them to win a team fight. Just don't overdo it. 
And of course, the final tip of being a good support, you guessed it, communication. Always and always communicate to your team your position, your old status, if you're getting pressured or if anybody needs to be in your line of sight to get heals. Make sure you're letting them know. So now a quick breakdown of all the things we kind of went over. I know it's kind of a lot, but main goal, survive at all cost to give your team the edge. Know who to prioritize when you heal if you're in a tight situation and everybody's low. And don't just be a heal bot. Be aggressive with your team. Get in there and do some damage to give your team a better advantage in the team fight. Position yourself accordingly based off of your support and your picks and keep track of your cooldowns and ult status for those big saves if necessary. And like always, again, communicate with your team. But that is gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope it helped you learn the basics of what it means to be a support player. Hopefully it'll help you climb the ladder or just give you a good head start when you're starting the game and help you give a nice understanding to what it means to play support. So if this video was helpful and you learned a lot, please let me know in the comments. Go ahead and like the video and heck subscribe if you are new or enjoy this content i mean it's totally free and if you don't like it i will come and find you and personally give you your money back so again guys with that being said i hope you all have a fantastic week and peace out